Today, we're making goidodo, or green papaya salad, and it's one of my favorite salad dishes of all time. This salad can be found sold by street vendors and restaurants all over Vietnam, and it combines thinly shredded green papaya with Thai basil and Vietnamese beef jerky, tossed in a soy-based dressing that ties it all together perfectly. The unripe green papaya is an incredible tropical fruit that's fairly mild in flavor, but adds a nice crunch and is the base of our salad. This is a light and refreshing dish that is an amazing appetizer, perfect for the summer months. So do me a favor and make sure you like, comment, share, and save this video. All right, y'all, remember to wash your hands. Then the first step is processing our green papaya. Now, if you've never had green papaya before, this is the unripe version of the papaya fruit, which is known for its sweet and orange flesh when fully ripe. But green papaya though, while unripe, its flesh is firm, very pale green to almost white, and is not really sweet at all. Green papaya is most commonly used in salads just like this one, or pickled with carrots and served as a side. So first, we'll peel the outer green layer of the papaya, and then just give that a quick rinse. Then you're going to need this kiwi branded shredder which can be found at your local Asian store or on Amazon for just a few bucks. I'll link it in the caption below for your convenience, but if you don't have this though, a mandolin with a shredder could work fine, but I would avoid a box grater. You'll want these long and thin ribbons of green papaya and this hand shredder from kiwi is the absolute best one. We'll get our papaya all shredded and then we'll put that to the side. And then for the Thai basil, we're just gonna remove the leaves from the stems. And if you like this recipe, and you wanna learn how to make more of your favorite Vietnamese and Asian dishes, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications to stay up to date on all my latest posts. Once we have all the leaves separated, I'm just gonna get a bunch of them rolled up and we'll shift and nod them into ribbons. Once we've cut all the Thai basil, let's cut up our Vietnamese beef jerky. I just picked this up from my local Vietnamese grocery store, Lum Si Food, but if you can't find this, you can also just substitute it for any thin beef jerky. I'm gonna cut this into little strips and put them to the side. Now finally, let's quickly put together our sauce. To a mixing bowl or a container, I'm gonna add in about two and a half tablespoons of sugar, two and a half tablespoons of white vinegar, and two tablespoons of soy sauce. To that, I'll add in about a tablespoon of sambal, which is just garlic chili sauce, and I'll start mixing that up to get that well incorporated. And then I'll add in a quarter cup of filtered water. And then don't be like me, but I also forgot to add the Maggie, so we'll add in about half a tablespoon of that. I'll mix that up and make sure the sugar is fully dissolved. And then it's time to plate. We'll add our shredded papaya to a plate. Top with our Thai basil. some of our beef jerky, and 
And then I'm going to spoon over some of our sauce. And then the final touch is a drizzle of sriracha. And just like that, you've made goi doo doo at home. As always, the principal recipe is on my blog at feedthepudge.com. And if you've made it this far, let me know in the comment section what your favorite salad is. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy.